after the election, we want to see to be doing doing our road and our electricity to be do so many necessary things that is, people need to be using in our vicinity. Concerning our roads, I think um, the party I will vote for after the election they should do the roads because it is something that I really need for me as a worker. Going to work in the morning and there are a lot of traffic on the road due to the potholes and a lot of things on the road. So I think uh, after the election, the party should do the road for us. So that is what I feel. We are looking forward to a positive result of the election. And whoever wins in my view, uh, what I expect that will affect my industry, which invariably affect me as a person, is to create an enabling environment for, uh, because our business is tourism. So we expect improvement in that area of governance. So if there's an improvement in tourism, which implies the part of the government role, whoever wins, like I said, is to increase the enabling environment, to create opportunities for people to travel in and uh, make it more attractive for investors to come in because we play host to uh, more foreign international uh, guests and delegates. So if government can play their role by emphasizing and ensuring that the enabling environment of the industry is enhanced, I think that will invariably affect the industry positively and invariably affect me too, positively. So those are my expectations. Nigeria, everybody expects positive changes. And I, my, my prayer is that after the election, there, there won't be any violence. Because we know that this present government must go. The Nigerian economy now is in shambo. Do you understand? If there are changes in government, a lot of things will change. So there is no way whoever that goes to the market now and see that that use that buy things. If there are changes in government, at least if the economy is, is okay, then there will be stability in most of the prices of the things. So I think in the economic aspects and even in security wise also, there must be changes. First of all, I think the government should improve on how they relate to the people, how, to, how they relate to the masses and how they take care of the masses. For one, these people just go about um, campaigning and stuff. They really don't care about the people, you know, the masses. They are not even bothered about what's going on around them. For example, the light situation. The light situation is next to zero. In my area, when I go out to work and I come back, in the evening, there's no light. We put on the generator, almost 247, imagine, you know, that's a problem. Then another thing is that um, if they can do something about this Boko Haram, I mean, come on. We keep saying, oh, Boko Haram will never get to Lagos, but what if it does? What I expect to see, sir, is a simple fact, sir. Most of our political leaders, they have traveled abroad. They have seen the light abroad. They have seen development abroad. They have seen how humans have been taken care. Not structures, but human beings.